Well, here it is, the short round to the Hork Dog, courtesy of Charlie Horky, owner of CLS Limousine Service in Las Vegas. For those of you that come to Las Vegas and you want to use a limo to get around, give CLS a chance. He's a fellow team roper. And for those of you that are thinking about coming to the national finals, the MGM Grand and SpeedRoping.com are putting together 25 packages of being able to stay at the MGM and go watch the rodeo in plaza seats. They're very hard to get, so I'm very proud to offer this special that I'm working out the details with the MGM Grand. Hope to have all the details up in the next two weeks. And for those of you that want to buy the DVD of the Hork Dog and see everything in slow-mo and see all the runs that the guys made to make the short round, Rodeo Mania is the place to go. I sure hope you guys buy the DVDs because if you don't, we won't get to put the short round on anymore for free. Well, here's the guys that made the short round right here, the top 20. You know, it was a pretty tough roping. We roped the steers that we roped at the BFI a couple years ago. They were big and strong. Some of them didn't run as hard as the others, but some of them sure enough run. Well, here's the top teams, how it played out at Charlie Horky's house in Las Vegas. Here we go. The neighbors from Erath in Johnson County are going to begin with a 26.05. 2605 on three coming back. The lead team, Turtle Powell, Russell Cardoza, at a 1784. Lead team coming in with a zero. Now it's going to be the top 19. Top 19 was team number 10 coming in, Caleb Mitchell. Pollock, Texas, Boogie Ray from Maybank. This team was 2525. On their three. Two Texans now to go, two Texans out. 19 tied team callback. Caleb Mitchell to the head end, Boogie Ray to the heels. Mr. Dresselman picked the right 20 steers. We're going to see how it works. We got a nod across the line. I hear it buzzing. They broke out. We're going to be quick. They got a leg and the line. In a total of 14 and 58. Nope, should be a 1958. Take it down on four with the penalties, and they gathered them all in the last one. 44 83. Rats. When you're at the bottom, you got to reach higher. Kelsey Parchman, Cody Hintz, Stephenville, and Nevada. Looks like a nice clean run at a 514. It's one heck of a difference going from team 19 to 18. All right, team 17, the Adams boys, Jason and Randon. Randon Adams, Dublin, Texas, but Logandale, Nevada. They had six tenths of a second coming in on team 18. That would let it be 5-7, but they just broke out. Buzzer at the head end. Head catch is not going to fit. The Adams brothers are out of it. It's wide open for the 29.95 as we go down to team number 16. Don't do this to me, boys. Let's start stretching them. Let's get these penalties done. Bubba Buckaloo, Kenniston, Oklahoma, Brandon Adams back for the second time. Not a lot of guys are going to qualify in a rope in this gun for the Hork Dog. Qualified twice, and I think we've got three in the top 20 that have done it. Brandon Adams will be the first one. This was team number 116 coming in, 24 and 11. Only separated out of the last team of which Brandon was a healer as well by one-tenth of a second. One clean run out of four at a 5-1. Nothing. Hard to catch yet. Bubba Buckaloo. Greg Horse at the head end. He's going to miss. Guys, y'all ought to give Randon Adams a hell of a hand for making it twice. Didn't get a pitch on either one, buddy. Doggone it. All right, team number 15, David Keen, Matt Garza. Half the team, the winner of the George Strait. Matt Garza entered one time today with David Keen. Mesquite, New Mexico, Stephenville. Now we got 
a half a second earlier coming in on three. Key to the head end. No buzzer, they're clean. Matthew, get a pair, they're good. All right, we'll take it on a 533. That's gonna put him at a 28.94 and a new leading time by one full second. Team number 14 roped in the number 141 spot. Spencer Mitchell, running a million steers today. Brock Cresta, neighbors, Northern California at Williams and Santa Rosa. 23-34 at three tenths of a lead on the last team. They're out, Spencer misses. Crest is on a trail ride, no time. That is the fourth no time in one team with a penalty of a leg and a barrier. Two clean runs out of, whew, out of seven runs. All you gotta do boys is get one rope. An eight won't hurt you now as we go to eight time champion of the world, Speedy Williams. Speedrope.com, Marty Becker, the Canadian. Speedy Williams, De Leon, Texas. Marty Becker across the line north of Kalispell and Cardston, Alberta. This was team 106. They were 22 5 coming in. We have now dropped four tenths of a second. We are clean in the field. Nice run at a 576. That's now going to put them to the lead by 7 tenths of a second with a 28-29. All right. We're at a 514, 533, and a 576 in the short round. Now Trevor Brazil and Corey Coons. They are five seconds quicker than the number 20 team coming in. All-around champion of the world, Corey Coons at the Hill, Sudan, Texas. 21.09 on three, this was team 75 in the main roping. The four billion dollar man. See what you can do at the head end, Trev. They are only three seconds away from the first call back team. Trevor with a fast try. Had three seconds to play with, or three seconds to catch up. And a miss, Corey Coons on a trail ride. Now to Kevin Daniel, Marty Becker. This is the second time for Marty Becker back at the heel end like Brandon Adams had two shots. Kevin Daniels, Stephenville, Marty Becker, the Canadian from Cardston, Alberta. We are now six and two tenths away from the longest run. And we are exactly three seconds from the fastest run. This is a 12th high team callback. Nope, 11th high team. Kevin Daniel, Marty Becker, fast time in the round at a 5.14. No go rounds paid in the short round. Here we go, here we go. Black Molly Steer with the stockings watched him earlier. They caught him twice today, good. That's a third time, 5.45. They now go to the lead by two and one one hundredth of a second. 26, 28. Now, boys, we're going to tighten it up a little bit. Everybody's got to be clean. Broken barrier is going to take you out of it. A leg going to cost you five grand. Time difference right now need to be at a 572 for Brandon Beers and Jimmy Cooper. This is the 10th ID. Brandon Beers, Pal Butte, Oregon. Jimmy Cooper, Monument. New Mexico. 2056 coming in. They had three tenths of a second advantage on the 11th high team. Kevin Daniel, Marty Becker. 26 28. And the five sixes would really be good. Second black knowledge deer, rope clean, 604. Now they're going to be 26 60. That'll put them in the number two spot. Charlie Crawford, Justin Davis, nine tie team coming back. We just separated from a 571 to a 590. Because the time's going to be allowed. Beers and Cooper holding the number two spot. Daniel and Becker. Now you're watching Charlie Crawford, Justin Davis. 
Get on steer and clean with a 579. This is the kind of rope that it's going to take. 2616. They just, by one tenth of a second, moved to the number one spot. Go to Britt Williams and Jimmy Cooper. Fred Williams, Hammond, Montana. Jimmy Cooper, second time. A lot of healers qualified twice today that broke out. 2018 coming in, an extra 10 will take him over 30. And it's going to be a no time. We were clicking right along with a 545, 579, and a 604. Then a no time. We're down to the seventh callback team. Nate Singletary, Tom Bill Johnson, Arizonans. 20 seconds flat on three. Time difference getting a little bit longer. Six and 15 one hundredths. To be in the number one spot for $32,400. 21,600 for second. 17,100 for third. 565, clean every way. Now they go to the lead by a bunch. 2565. All right, let's go to the 619, Charlie Crawford, making his second appearance in the top 20. Russell Cardoza. You're gonna get a chance to hear that name again. Russell comes in on the number one callback and in the number six. This is about who's who and who's roping the best in 2011 at the Hork Dog number 11. Charlie Horky ought to be happy to watch him. Here you are, Charlie Crawford, Russell Cordoza. The boys broke out another penalty. It's all or nothing. So it's going to be 15-18. That puts them in a 35-01. That's too long for any money cuts at this time. Fourth place money pays 12-6. 6,300 a man, 6,300 in a fifth place money hole. David Key, Clay O'Brien Cooper, 1906, a second and a half separating the top five teams. David Key along with Jade Corkle, a month ago, $90,000 at the George Strait. What's he gonna do today for $30,000? At the Hort Dog. We lost a rope at the back end. They got him roped, flag drop, 720. 720, Cleo, hope you got all your fingers. That puts him at a 26-26 in a third place money right now. That's still worth 17,000. Four teams to go. Drew Horner, Plano, Texas. Jay McLean, Byers, Colorado. 1897. We're looking at one and one-tenth of a second separating the top four teams. Texas and Colorado, Horner and McLean. Fourth callback team. We're off and running. We've got another broken barrier. And no catch him at the back end. They'll take a no time. Boys, you broke good today. Now to Corey Kidd, Ryan Motes. North Carolina and Texas. Corey Kidd at the head end. This is the third team back from Statesville, North Carolina, where all the ladies are called Martha. Ryan Motes. The only thing he wants to call the ladies is make sure she ain't late to dinner. Weatherford, Texas. 1864 coming in. Corey, nice handle, nice. All right, Ryan Motes, we'll take it out of 741. That is gonna drop them in the number two spot. The worst they can win is fourth, and that'll be worth 12,600. Out of Caleb Driggers and Brad Culpepper. Nobody roped any better than these guys, but Turtle Powell and Russell Cardoza. 1856 coming in, gotta be clean, guys. You're in the six hole, and they are tied 702. 702, Adam Clicker, 2558. 
They now move to the number one spot. Now, believe it or not, as Turtle Powell and that gray horse, I think, bought this buckle, some of the most beautiful gifts buckles I've ever seen made. Charlie Horky, here comes your championship in second place. Turtle Powell, Stephenville, Texas, Russell Cardoza, the five event Iron Man champion. Here you go from Terrebonne, Oregon. Texas at the head end. Russell get a pair. Look, look. And he's got them clean. They had plenty of time at about seven and seven. They just wrote their perfect steer with a 7.33. And it's gonna hold them at a 25.17, four tenths of a second to the lead. Here's the way it pays out. Turtle Powell, Russell Cordoza, 32,400. They're 25.17, Caleb Driggers, Brad Culpepper. 2558, 21,600. Nate Singletary, Tom Bill Johnson, 2565 for 17,100. Corey Kidd, Ryan Motes, 2605.